Hello once again, my friends. I am Marchman, and today I'm going to take a look at Life Goes On. This is a new, <coughs> new-ish game on Steam, and I believe it is fifteen dollars. Although I could be wrong. I'm really bad at checking prices, so never listen to me. Just go check it out for yourself on the Steam page. It's interesting. It's a very interesting game. We'll jump right in here. Actually, I'll, I go. Okay. Well, I'll just I'll jump right in here. I was going to show you the options menu, but. Alright, so, <clears throat> this is an advanced level, probably not the best one to show you, so <laughs> I'm going to go back to level select. You do a little, little preview, a little preview. So, it starts off easy, it starts off very, very simple, and quite frankly, you get straight to the point, as the name of this title level, title level? The name of this level is called, as you can see, I've already died once, my dead body is just kind of chilling there, his head is all wobbly and stuff, and I'm standing on top of him. Well, Gary the Damned is standing on top of him. And he probably is, indeed, going to die. And that's okay. And indeed he did. And then the medelic, me, 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 Melodic Cortes Vivian the Eighth Daughter. And then it drifts off because there's a very long name. Every single character's name is generated randomly. And the, as you can see, the game Life Goes On, the key mechanic is death. Interesting, right? Well, it is quite interesting. It's very, very well done game. So, of course, that was the first level. Now I'll jump into a later level. I'll do like maybe two more of these, like beginning levels. And you'll see, kind of see, get get a feel for more of the puzzles. So, like this one, you jump on the thingy, thingy bobber. And, oh, hey, there's a little dude that can eat me. Oh, wrong one. All right, restart. The, the controls are extremely simple. Two things, and this is the same for mouse and keyboard. Move and jump. There's no other buttons, nothing else at all. Well, there are buttons in the game, but oh god. All right, eff it. I'm not going to try and get the little munchy dude. Um, so, what's interesting about this <coughs> is you could do that and then your dead body has weight. So, it'll trigger that button and then you will be able to move on and get the cup of life. No pain, no victory. Okay. That's true, I guess. So we'll do one more, and then I'm going to jump to a later level, so you can kind of get an idea. So this is a much, the semi-more complicated one, and this is where the checkpoint mechanic is going to come in handy. And it just took me a little while to figure out, because I was not able to wrap my brain around it. So, as you can see, this is sealed in here, and when I close this, I, I can't go through here. And I also can't get up to this little dude, which I'm not going to do. And also you can grip on platforms, but that's, it's a semi-minor mechanic, but it comes into play sometimes. So as you can see, I can't do anything. I'm like, oh, well, how do I do this? Well, what you do is you die, you respawn, and then you can make it in there. So that's an interesting little thing. And that's basically all the basics you need to know. And there we go. And then it becomes much, much more difficult. <laughs> you'll soon see. Oh, you'll, you'll soon see. So this is a semi-difficult level, but an interesting one nonetheless. And obviously, you already probably figured out that this little spiky dom thing bobbing right here, you use it by weighing it down with one of your dead bodies, and then you can run across here, all spiffy and spanner-like. So here's another interesting one. <clears throat> Obviously, you probably figured this part out for yourself, that this thing over here, if I walk on it, it stops this fire. And the thing about fire is that it kills you and it takes away the dead body on the floor. So, it's fire's bad. Fire's never good because you always want more dead bodies because otherwise your puzzles become a lot harder. So we'll drop a dead body right there. And then you wheel it over. You probably were like, oh, that's super easy. Yeah, this game gets harder, so don't don't fret your pretty little head yet. So, and then this part, you're like, wait, what? How do I do this, right? Oh my god, like I don't get it. Uh. And that, that's how I was the first time. I was thinking maybe I can go all the way around. But then I was like, Hey, what if I die, I wheel the body over until it's like right there, and then, that might have been a little bit too far, but that's okay. I think it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. Ugh, okay. So I guess I have to spend another dead body. It's okay though, because I'm pretty sure I have enough to spare. Alright, that should be Sweltacular. Perfecto Mundo. And there we go, perfect. And then we continue on and get the cup of life. Oh, it's so full of life. 
and still reach, reach the par number of deaths. Alright, so now let's take it up a couple more notches back to where I am in this current thingy. Current thingy. So, as you can see, there's a little thingy right here on the bottom floor. It's called the cannon. And basically, it's a cannon. I don't know. It's, that's the whole, that's the whole shtick. So that's it. That's fine. It's pretty cool, I guess. But you wanted to print the button, and then the spikes retract, and then your character can go flying like that. And then what you want to do is you want to wait for him to do like that, and then stick him to the wall. Oh no! Wait. I did it wrong. Uh, I think I figured it out, guys. I think I just figured it out. So let's restart because I don't want to have to waste all of my dead dudes, duty doodle lobbers, doodle boppers, teeny boppers, teeny boppers. Okay. So we're gonna shoot a dude like that. That'll stop the fire. And then what we're gonna do is shoot him against the wall. And then he's gonna land like that. Then we stick him like that. And then once he reaches right here, we're gonna drop him onto the button. Perfecto. Now they'll just catch by themselves, I think. If I did it properly. Which is not in completely out of the question. I could still be stupid. That that is never a point to be debated. Can I Oh no! No! Dude, don't fall. Okay, well, it just kind of froze. That's okay, though. I'm not sure if I'm doing this properly. Do I have to use the dead body to get the grail? Or... I don't know if the dead body can get the grail. That's my thing that I'm not sure of. Nope, he can't. Alright, well, that was my little thought experiment there. It didn't work out so well. So now you know when you play this game. Because it's a great game, and I definitely think you should do go and pick it up. Because it's a really fun, cool interesting idea and interesting experience okay well oh wait i'm so dumb so now we use our dead bodies which we can grip onto and get to the exit i did it i figured it out i'm so smart you're probably like oh my god this idiot doesn't know what he's doing but that's okay i did it okay i did it i figured it out i forgot and you can easily kill yourself without having to do multiple stupid things beforehand Ooh, that's a Oh, that's a untriggered spiky thingy. How? What the butts? How? Oh, wait. Excuse me. Wait, hold on a second. I'll figure this out. Don't. Oh, wait. I'm so dumb. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Don't. Don't leave without me. Okay. And then. Oh, bollocks. I get it now. Ooh. No. Don't. Don't fire me. Oh no! Oh, I think I figured it out. And then... Yeah! I am so smart at life. Okay. Um... Let's do this, and then I guess... What does this do? Um... I think I get it. I think I get it now. And then that dude falls down there into that thingy. Which I can completely forget about. Maybe if I... Shake it back and forth, it'll fall off. I doubt that's gonna work that way. That's okay, though. But I don't understand. What else is there? Oh, wait a minute. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. There we go. That stops the fire. Um. Uh... Wait. Oh my god, I figured it out. I'm so smart at life and stuff. Oh god, I I buzzed my face on a saw blade without wanting to do so. I'm sorry. I guess we can call that victory. Yeah, I mean, I, I would call it that as well. Also, I got the, the part time, which is nice. What is this? So this is, this is Life Goes On. It's a very fun, interesting title. Ooh. Okay, so that does that. Great Sir Arnold. Well, he's probably not going to be so great after very long, because he's going to have to die soon. Sorry, Great Sir Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Okay. Um, what does this do for me? Alright, well, let's get this. And then I run over here. And then probably just let that drop. Oh! Let the bodies hit the floor! But I didn't want them to hit the floor. I wanted them to land in that little crate thingy. Super crate box. 
I botched it again. Okay, let's try this. Let's do this again. Let's try this again. Alright, uh, sorry that. Oh, I can't make it. Okay. So now you know what fire does. I totally did that on purpose. Um, I did that on purpose, actually. Ow, what does this do? Okay, that does that. You do you, Mr. Krabs. You do you. That's it. Oh, oh, I get it now. Except I have to do a lot of running and timing and platforming and stuff. But that's okay, I can do it. I believe in myself. So let's do that. And then let's let him slide a little bit. And then re-stick him. And then let him land in there. Awesome, awesome sauce. And then that okay cool and then we stick him okay I can do this I can do this I believe in myself do you believe in me do you believe in me Arrgh! I believe in me would you do me I do okay don't don't listen to what I just okay I did it I did it again he's done it again Big Mac I did it in one uh Unilaterally declaring victory. Yeah, I mean, I did it part time and I did it with like one death. That was pretty good as well. Uh, what is this? Oh, whoa, 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 electricity? Hey, excuse me! Oh, uh, you use it to connect the, the pathways. Okay, I get it. I get it now. Except, what? How, oh, okay, they're just gonna probably teach me some mechanic to un. Unstick them. Oh, so I have to fire them. You fired. You know, like that one guy on the TV screen where he's always like, "Oh, you're fired." Do you get it? I bet you get it. You're probably like, "Yeah, dude, I got it." And that's probably exactly what you sound like, Nor Calbra. I don't know what I'm talking about, but that's okay. That's that's usually how my commentary goes anyway. But yeah, you should totally go check this game out. The, the graphical style is very interesting, it's kind of cartoony, but it does look kind of nice, I like it a whole lot. I kind of wish you could swing your sword, that would have been pretty cool. Don't listen to me though, I'm just, I love swords and weaponry. Um, I probably need to do like this, and jump over, oh I made it, son! Okay, and then I probably need to do this, yeah there we go. Alright, so then, we need to attach the spikes's, sp spiken, 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 and then stop it, and then move it to the right, stop, and, oh wait, no, no, unspike, and then I probably need to move it back, jack, do it again, etc, etc, jazz music, back, okay. And then I murder myself, murder myself repeatedly, honestly, and that's a little disturbing, but hey, that's what I gotta do, It's what you gotta do, right? I mean, if you gotta platform up to the top of a mountain, how are you gonna do it? You jump on some spikes and use your dead body as uh, leverage. And honestly, this game could have gone in a much more dark, uh, much more distraught nature. But I'm kind of glad that it went with this like kind of like cheery mood, even though you die like a lot, like a lot, <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> oh wait, hold on a second. Oh, that's genius. It's ingenious. How does this work? Oh, I think I get it. So we're using the checkpoint system to our advantage. Oh god, I botched it. Okay, so I do this. Then I. Then I do this. I do this. Oh god, I fell! Why are you button my hole right now? Oh. No, I uncheckpointed! Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, I want to figure this out. This is a very complex little logic puzzle we got here. But that's okay. I'm gonna talk about it anyway. And then do that. Jump in here. Oh, I respawned too early. Ah, God. So you respawn when you click jump, so that you can do some precise, precision respawn tactics. Uh, 360 no scope, fleet, bro. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so I'll do this. Then jump in here. Yeah. Okay. And then what I do. 
All I wanna do is you. How? Where am I? Is there a kill self button? I don't think there is actually. Can I jump in here a second time? Nope. Alright, well. Ooh, jump! Oh, I can't make it. Fenton, the traveler. Okay. Ooh, I did it! Except there's only more checkpoints here. I got the checkpoint. I'm so dumb! How do I do this? Uh. 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 I don't understand. Alright, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. I just have to live my life. In a leisurely fashion. Okay, so then I'll do that. That'll do that. That'll do that. I think I figured it out. So, what I want to do now is do that. And then I come back here. Yes. I light him on foyer. Then it turns. Then I get the checkpoint. I can't. Oh, I have to get it. 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 I can do it. I can believe, believe in me. Believe in me. Uh. What? Oh, dang it! I can do this. I can do this. That's Toast my goat's a jump I can make. I think. Can I do like a? Ah! I'm not gonna make it. I, there's no way I can do it. I can't do it. Maybe I can bring it back over here. Oh, bollocks! Can I jump through this little thingy with bobber? Oh my god, I did it! Without even realizing what I did. I mean, I totally knew what I was doing the whole time. Tough. Alright, so, this has been uh, Life Goes On. It's a really good game. It's really difficult, but it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a like portal, but with death instead of, like, portals as a mechanic. And death kind of is your portal in all honesty. It's strange as it sounds, but it kind of is. So what I'm gonna do is not come down here, because that was bull cocky. Bull cocky. Bull cocky? Bull hockey. Okay. So it's like Canadian bulls about hockey and stuff. So what does this do? Ooh, I should probably click this first. Maybe get that, and then get this. Hey, I did it. I did it properly. Except, oh, oh, oh. Did I do like that? And then, oh, bollocks. Alright, I should leave that open. So, let's restart. Don't hit the button thingy. Don't do that. Oh, balls! I respawn on... I respond on the wrong side. I don't know why I said it all weird. I don't know why I had this accent right now. What's happening? Help me. What's happening? Okay, so I don't want to do that. So let's do that. Do that. Then jump in the foyer. Awesome. And then do that. Do that. And jump in the fire. Oh, box! I said box. Oh, box. And then, uh, uh, I didn't make it. But, uh, I can't make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm never gonna make it. Oh, I have to go all the way around. It kind of sucks a little dick, but it's okay. Uh, I have to fire things. Ugh. This seems like more of a tedious level than anything. I don't really care how many dudes I. the heck just happened there? Like, I was, like, flying. Um, yeah, it's still a really great game, nonetheless. It has some moments where you're just like, alright, well, it's kind of balls. It's kind of balls, mate. But, most of the time, it's very, very fun. It's a delightful experience. Alright, well, I have to go all the F way back around. Oh, no, I can't, can I? Uh, I'll leave this puzzle for you to solve, because I can totally do that on my own. Um, oh, I exited out of the game. That's okay. I'll open it back up and put it on the title screen. Well, thank you guys 
for watching. If you enjoyed and you want to see more content like this and many other things, you can go ahead and subscribe to me on the YouTube sphere. And if you want to see me stream things live, I might stream like this game or something. Not sure yet. Maybe, maybe one day. It's a pretty fun game. I like it a whole lot. Life goes on on Steam as of now. Also, you can look it up. Pretty, pretty sure they have their own website and stuff. It's a good game. It's a lot of fun. It has some interesting mechanics. It does things very well. And it is a, it's different. It's certainly different. It's a lot different than before. Uh, than many other thingies that I've seen in the past. And it is very solid. It's solid for what it does. Um, I don't know why they give these knights swords if they never use them. That's my only complaint, honestly, about this game. Uh, it's very minimalistic, but has a very cool mechanic. It looks really nice. As you can see, the graphics are pretty dang decent. It's a, it's a good game. It's good. it's good. Go pick it up. It's fun. I forget how much it is, but go pick it up. It's fun. I like it. And as always, stay frosty.